Guten Tag, Miss Amy. Wie geht's denn mal, Dieter? Ich bin Dieter. Dieter likes to help, and today he's going to help with the history of the guitar. Actually, he's not. He's he's just going to be an interpreter uh, for <clears throat> modern some modern people, so that to make sure we include everybody. But he found this good uh, video on the history of the guitar by a gentleman named Polyvios, or Paula Polyvios. Capital P O L I V I O S music, um, and it's called the first guitar, the birth of the six string guitar, the romantic guitar, history of the guitar. Here it is. Okay. So that's what we want. That's what Dita wants to watch uh, you to watch today, and he's just going to go through a, a, a bit of this because he encourages you, if you're really interested in the history of the guitar, to check this wonderful video out. It's really well done. But he's just going to su supply some um, commentary, background commentary. The guitar is one of the most popular and widely played instruments in the world. It has gone through many developments over the course of several hundred years to arrive at the standard six-string instrument that we know today. This video will look at the early history of the guitar while featuring one of the first six string guitars ever built. Okay, so now here we have to apologize for the modern, uh, modern viewer and, um, you know, uh, all right, just make sure that y you color his hand any color that you want, but make sure, make sure it's not white, okay? Because, uh, you know, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to give white people credit for anything. So, um, take, when you get his video downloaded and, and make sure you Photoshop it all, okay? So let's continue. <laughs> Impressive feats of guitar virtual. So let's stop right here. Now it's obvious to me that this is AI generated because obviously this is, you can see by the distressed look on the gentleman's face that he is obviously a woman trapped in a man's body. And you can see the, the, the bad makeup job here. He's in white face. This is obviously a black transsexual person or a Chinese transsexual person, female, but, or, yes, trapped in, trapped in a man's body, right? It's so, a, just, just so you know. ...were performed over 200 years ago. Indeed, the 19th century was a golden age of the guitar, with guitarist composers producing a vast repertoire of outstanding music. This guitar was built at the end of the 18th century and is attributed to the Italian luthier Giuseppe Filano. Now, see, it was an Italian luthier, but for real history, I mean, we because people today like to rewrite history, we can't say that. So we'll have to say it was, uh, it was designed in, in, in North Africa by a transvestite, okay? I have played many historical guitars, but this is perhaps the oldest that I've laid hands on. And of course, when he says, I have played many historical guitars, he, he should have said, we, they, she, she, it, me, have played many historical guitars. And in fact, very well may be one of the first six string guitars ever constructed. There's one simple sugar. Okay, and now I, I hope uh, Mr. Uh, Monsieur Polivos, if he or any of his fans see this. No, I'm just, uh, uh, this is a great video. Uh, and I'm not taking any jabs at him. I'm just taking jabs at the, the modern stupidity of how, uh, how uh, 
it seems like millennials and Gen Zs want to rewrite everything. But you can't rewrite this, okay? The guitar, uh, <laughs> the modern guitar, seems to have its roots in Baroque instruments from, uh, from Europe. And it seems like the, the, the first um, builder of the modern six-string guitar was not C.F. Martin, but this uh, Italian fellow whose name escapes me right now. So, happy plucking, Maze and me. No matter where you go, there you are. And uh, j just an aside, uh, it was hilarious today. I saw a post on, on a, a guy who's got a popular guitar thing, and he's going, well, no, nobody listens to CDs anymore. Well, how, how can you make a statement like that? They, they, they just say stupid shit. And I said, well, uh, I guess you speak for the 7 billion people on the planet who are the four or five billion that maybe listen to music and none of them listen to CDs anymore, right? How, how, how the hell would you know? And then someone made a comment on uh, how, uh, how other generations, how every, every generation before, before, like the parents hated the kids' music. That's absolutely false. Uh, I remember growing up uh, in my parents' And we listen to uh, kind of um papa music. We listen to Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. We listen to uh, we listen to jazz. We listen to blues. We listen to classical. We listen to everything. And my parents did as well. The only the only thing they didn't like was really heavy metal because I don't think they understood it. But that, but to say that you know older generations uh, just hated hated young people's music. It's not true. The reason why the, it seems the older generations hate young people's music today is because so much of it is just garbage. <laughs> but even back in the day, we, uh, uh, you know, people, I think people had a better musical sense and they knew what junk was. Anyway, just an opinion. That's all it is. Have a good day.